What's up, Gemini? The crown jewels of the tarot, the gems, the lovers. What's up? Speaking of lovers, Gemini, let's see who is this new boo entering your life. What are they going to be like? What are they coming for? Let's see what's going on. Beloved, who is the new boo entering Gemini's life? New only, please. Yeah, this is for the new only group. Like, no, I want new. Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> Ah, Gemini, is this how we really start it off? So this person, I hope this is just a seeking, re like they're searching for a relationship. But what it's telling me, Gemini, is this person might already be attached when you meet them, Gemini. They have, may have been heartbroken by um, whoever this person is. Maybe they still connected to this person. They kind of got this open relationship going. But this attachment is just killing the vibe right away. Like, you're attached. I mean, literally, look at the card. They're attached. And this ice queen energy. And this is you, Gemini. And please don't let this be your past boo creeping into this reading. Okay, because you got your back turned. <laughs> Please let this be the new boo. Okay, because you looking good, Gemini. You fine. You on fire. Everybody know how attractive you is. Like, dang, Gemini looking good. Gemini been working on their stomach. Gemini got new tattoos. Did you see Gemini hair? Like, people are talking about you, and they're seeing the difference. Okay, but I'm praying, Gemini, and hoping that this is a new boo for you. Because the summertime bring opportunities, you know, at the coffee shop, at um, the concert, or at, you know, the store, the grocery store, the, the park, the barbecues, the pick. I mean, it's so many different opportunities in the summer versus the winter to meet your new boo. Unless you stay, like, in a warm climax where it's warm year-round. But for people that stay in colder climaxes, the summer's, like, it's definitely an opportunity, you know? Why do you guys think it's so many September babies? Because by January. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> well, let's see here. Let's see. Alrighty. The Sacred Woman. O M G. So this could be for a masculine. You could be meet someone that is a chosen one. Someone that's highly protected and guarded by the angels. This is someone that I feel like if you're a if you're a female, this person might be a chosen one as well. But how I just don't get how the chosen ones can, you know, have this open relationship like he's searching and she flirting with her hand all out like you know. But whosoever energy this is, this is someone that's a chosen one, someone that's guarded and protected by God, source, the universe, spirit, whom or whatever you believe in. This is that person. This is not someone that you play with lightly because of the spiritual connection that they have. Okay. Oh, oh, serendipity. So that's exactly how you got to meet this person. No, Jim, I thank goodness this is an old person. Oh, right Gemini but this is like a person Gemini like I said you all at the grocery store or whatnot you turn around in the fast food section you open the door you grabbing you a, a pizza or some ice cream or whatever and there they are looking at you and then you look at them they looking at you you looking at them <laughs> You know, or um, you had a picnic, you know, and you had a picnic with your friends and, you know, maybe their boyfriend is there or, you know, whatever. And, you know, suddenly this person walks up and you're just amazed. And as they're walking up, they're looking at you, too, like, you know, or, um, you know, you could be just rolling, walking in the park and you two just cross paths, whatever the case may be, it's going to happen. Just suddenly, serendipitously. Okay. So let's see what else you need to know, Gemini. What else do you need to know? 
I'm giving your person, this new person, shit for still being attached. I mean, honestly, I understand that when you break up with somebody, love can linger, yeah, you know, but um, unless the door is closed, don't open a new one because that's how relationships get destroyed, you know. Oh, signs. Watch out for signs leading you to your true love. So, um, Gemini, this person that's getting ready to come in your life is going to be your true love. Let's hope that this open relationship status is only because they are getting out of one. Because it doesn't look like these two really want to be together anyways. But make sure if this is the case that you take caution and be like, you know, I can deal. You know, you got somebody, you know, holler at me in a couple of months when it would be better or, you know, something like that. Oh, damn, this going to... That's a, look at now. Look at the the, the opposites in those two energies. Okay, now here is what's going on in their. I'm gonna say in their current relationship when you meet them, like these two don't really want to be together, but when you guys meet each other, bam, both of y'all happy, making hearts in the sky and whatnot, jumping for joy, happy as hell, rejoice, embrace your love and connection and rejoice. Okay, admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire about your partner. Oh, so we doing the matching tattoo thing in this relationship, Gemini. So this is going to be someone that you are um, admirable about. Someone who you adorn. Someone who, when you think about them, it gives you that fuzzy feeling, butterflies in your stomach. Like, it's like, wow, this person is beautiful like this. And I love when this person does this. And this person is so thoughtful of other people. And this person is, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm giving you a person shit for still being in this relationship. But this person is a chosen one, Gemini. So maybe they are on your vibrational frequency at this time when you meet them. Okay. Let's see. What else for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know about this new boo? That needs to let go of the old boo. Just let go of her hand, babe. Just let go. When you meet Gemini, just let it go. You know, tell her Gemini's in the building. Tell him Gemini has stepped in. Looking all good. <laughs> okay. Study. So this person is going to be someone that's um, that's knowledgeable, that's wise. This isn't going to be a stupid person, Gemini, or somebody that's slow. This person is going to be very wise and have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share with you. Um, this person could be a historian or the type of person that watch documentaries, the type of person that um, when you sit down and talk to talk to them they got a whole lot to talk about because they don't mind um in their in their private time their personal time to sit back and kind of study study various topics you know oh oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yes oh yes let go walk away from the situation in order to resolve it so this is what this person is gonna need to do they're going to need to let go of her hand. She's going to need to let go of this hand. But beloved is going to already prompt them. Let go. Let go. So author. This person could be an author of a book, an author of a, a website, author, entertainer. They're going to be doing something where they are, I feel like, an entrepreneur, CEO, something. You know? But um, let's see what else. What else do Gemini need to know about this person? What else does Gemini need to know about this person, please? Thank you so much. It's beautiful that that let go card came out because that's the same thing I was just saying. Like, just let her go, look over her hand, let go of his hand. Just let it go. Knighthood. So with this knighthood card, I of course, I get the Knights of the Tarot. So this could be a, that fast moving night. It could be a slow moving night. I wonder which night it is. Let's see if Beloved would tell us right away. What night is this? That the, What night energy is this person coming in as? Let's hope it's the Knight of Pentacles at least. Huh. 
<laughs> well, ha, huh. they may have been in the knighthood, okay? But they are coming up as the Hierophant, the um, Five of Wands, and the King of Wands. This is a person that will fight to have this relationship with you. They are relationship ready. They will pursue you. They are fine, Gemini. And Gemini, you know you love you um, fire signs anyway. But this person is so fine. I get this person is fine like that. Like, damn. <laughs> But yeah, this person is not coming in in a night energy. They're coming in in this King of Wands energy. But I feel like they're coming in fast, Gemini. But let's see here. What else? Asia. Okay. So this person can have some Asian in their blood. They could be blazing black and Asian. They could be Filipino. They could be um, um, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Um, Malaysian. I think Malaysian is a part of Asia. <laughs> but either way, they got they got some Asian backgrounds. Or they could just have them slanted, beautiful eyes or something like that. They could be um, someone who travels back and forth to Asia. They could do business in Asia. I mean, they could be, they can be um, also, um, there's so many damn countries in Asia. I almost forget a lot of times that, um, let me see, what culture is it? that's also in Asia because you would think that it's in Africa but it's not it's like um oh my goodness it'll come to me in a minute I'm having a brain fart but um let's see what else what else does Gemini need to know what else does Gemini need to know what else Stimulation, baby. They gonna stimulate that mind. They, Gemini, you are an air sign, okay? And this person is gonna get them brain juices flowing, okay? With them being this this wise person, they gonna teach you some stuff that you never known before, okay? They are gonna make your brain like healthy, positive. Like this this person that's coming in got a lot of good good attributes. Oh, wow. Now, this is very interesting. Okay. Is this person going to feel stuck? Like they can't let go, though. Is that the thing? Are they going to feel like they can't move from this bitch? I'm sorry. <laughs> I only said that because, you know, when someone else is blocking your happiness because of their misery, these are two people who don't want to be together. Why are they even holding hands? Let's just be honest. They don't want to be together, but it's like, it's, is it going to be hard for this person to let go? Or are they going to have to cry and spend days of, of mourning and all that stuff? And Gemini, you might be good and ready to go, you know? I hope not. Let's see. What else does Gemini need to know about their person, please? What else does Gemini need to know about this person? Mm, mm, mm. That's just going to be a sad thing, though. If this person feels like they can't let go of this other person or this other person still has an energetic attachment to them, it's not, it's not even going to be worth it. Oh, my goodness. Let's get, let me get all the cards out real quick. So the Nine of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. You know, Gemini, so I'm just going to be honest with you, beloved. I feel like this is you coming in in this King of Swords energy, right? But this person is going to be on guard. Because of this bitch. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like Black Madonna crazy. But no, I mean, honestly, like this is what's getting ready to mess this relationship up before it can even start is the fact that 
they need to let go of this other person. And for this card to come out in this nine of wands, it's like, oh my goodness, here we go with the BS, okay? The reading was all good and beautiful and moving past that energy. And then here we come back down to the nine of wands, a person being on freaking guard, not ready, been hurt, been through war, been through battle. Oh, poor me, poor me. Oh, well, I guess you're going to bring that shit right out of them, Jemai. Okay? Whatever they've been through, when they meet you, okay, that's that happiness. That's why the night is cups here. Like, don't worry about that bitch, baby. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, but honestly, just... Just be aware of that aspect, Gemini. If this person tell you, you know, I just broke up with my person, take it as a warning sign that they are still attached, okay? But, um, beloved, what's the message you have for Gemini, please? What's the message you have for Gemini, please? Earth angel. So, you're that sacred person, Gemini. Maybe your person's that sacred person too. Maybe this is why you guys are an energetic match. They're the sacred woman and you're the earth angel. But either way, you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. And you know what? This person is getting ready to learn what true love looks like after dealing with this bitch. <laughs> why do I keep calling them a bitch? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gone from your reading, Gemini. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later. <laughs>